There is a common misconception that the CPU's clock speed determines the speed of the CPU itself, but is that really true? So for those of you who are not familiar with the term clock speeds, the CPU has a clock inside that cycles a certain amount of times per second. This is usually measured in gigahertz, or megahertz if the CPU is really old. The prefix giga is used to describe a measurement in the billions. So for example, a 3.8 gigahertz CPU's clock cycles 3.8 billion times in one second. For those of you who are just beginning to know the ins and outs of computers, you may think that a CPU with a higher clock speed is automatically the faster CPU. However, there are many, many cases that make it almost the complete opposite. This, however, can be reliable when comparing two CPUs in the same family, such as two Haswell i7 CPUs, where one of the only differences are the clock speeds. However, you cannot compare an AMD FX 9590 with a clock speed of 4.7 GHz with an i7 6700K 4 GHz CPU, based purely on their clock speed. Plus, most CPUs nowadays come with differing core counts, this means that the workload can be spread equally across all cores. But there is also a small bit more that I want to add, which is the amount of instructions that can be sent per clock cycle. This is a vital part of modern CPUs today, which many, many people overlook. One advantage for a CPU with a lower clock speed but a higher instruction rate is that they consume less power and generate a lot less heat. In the last seven years, clock speeds have hardly changed, and that's not because CPUs are not improving, because they are rapidly improving, it's just that whilst the clock speed isn't advancing, the numbers of instructions per clock cycle certainly are. When buying a CPU, if you want to compare two CPUs of different architecture, follow this method. Number one, get a calculator. Number two, do the following. Put in the clock speed of your CPU, times a billion, so for example if you have 3.8 gigahertz, times that by a billion to get 3.8 billion, assuming your CPU is measured in gigahertz of course. Now get your previous answer and times it by the number of instructions per clock cycle. Now you may want to google that bit otherwise you may get everything wrong. Do this for both CPUs that you want to compare, and then compare the two numbers, but still keep in mind that cores count and so do cache. So in conclusion, clock speeds are important, but you should not buy a CPU based on its clock speed alone. You should factor in the number of instructions per clock cycle using the method I previously showed you, and the core count including hyperthreading unless your primary focus is a task that uses lesser cores. So anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video, if you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and maybe even subscribe for more. But anyway, this is How To Compute, and we will catch you all next time. So, we will see you then. Bye!